Oh, just missed. Real golf doesn't lack thrills. Watching a player sink a delicate chip in generates no shortage of excitement. But in the context of a video game, it needs some extra energy, a pizzazz, an added enthusiasm, even if it's when browsing a menu, just to keep it from becoming something you can sleepwalk through. PGA Tour 2K23 lacks that. It's silent, it's calm, it's bland, it's so proper. PGA Tour 2K23, and previously PGA Tour 2K21, was born of HB Studios' fanatically accurate simulation, The Golf Club, and the change in name hasn't changed much about the underlying philosophy behind it. The actual shot mechanisms, ball physics, and standard frustration when sinking a shot into a lake retain their dazzling authenticity. And yet, even with a year off between additions to rethink things, HB Studios has produced another plain, stuffy, elitist golf sim with as much personality as a white polo shirt. 2K23 makes minor strides towards loosening up the pomposity, but lands inches from dropping into the cup. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? This next part is for bogey. 2K brings the points-based FedEx Cup into focus as the central career goal. That's fine, although the PGA draws more attention from the Masters, US Open, and other high-profile events, the stuff EA licensed in the past for its golf projects. PGA Tour 2K23 doesn't have those, or their most famous courses, like Augusta National. That means the career mode feels like filler as it works around licensing restrictions and takes us through second-tier courses like the Detroit Golf Club and and TPC South Wind. That's an issue when it's the primary way to play, and here there aren't a lot of other options. Taking to the course, the major publisher influence from 2K becomes evident. There's an effort to streamline things, including an optional three-click swing system. That's new, but brutally difficult to master, and not the accessible feature that was expected. This method involves holding the swing button to set power, releasing to begin a spinning meter that needs to be stopped twice to determine swing accuracy. If you're anything like me, you can expect botched shots on the regular before reverting to the smooth, clean, and precise analog stick swing. HB Studios mastered this analog method, thankfully. Other golf games have tried and even succeeded in their own ways. But HB's quest to mimic the feel and challenge of a real club pays off. It's an appropriately fragile existence off the tee or from the fairway, as stick speed dictates a slice or hook. Even when well-practiced, the possibility always remains to botch a shot, as it should be. Plus, 2K23 adds needed shot types like punches to squeeze the ball under hazards, furthering PGA Tour's repertoire and strategy. Oh, that one zipped right by, didn't it? There's an attempt to add charisma to the series, but it comes across half-hearted. Selectable golfers include cover star Tiger Woods and other known PGA names, but also celebrities like NBA stars Michael Jordan and Steph Curry. In the equipment section, a hockey stick is offered as a putter choice, giving necessary nods to Happy Gilmore. That's it though, and those celebrity players exist only in side modes or versus play. Say what you will about the defunct Tiger Woods PGA Tour series, but maintaining golf's central appeal while driving Happy Gilmore's walk-up swing was a delight, with no gameplay cost. There's also Top Golf, a party-esque challenge founded in 2000. Now it's digital and a passable substitute for when short on time with friends, if also an uneventful target practice event unlikely to earn any long-term engagement. Likely, the most time people are going to spend with PGA Tour 2K23 will be with the career, mostly because it's almost all that's offered. There's one goal, FedEx, one play style, and outside of exhibitions, nothing else to do for solo golfers. Brief one-event rivalries using a stable Ford scoring system bring the slightest additional drama. Local and online verses add small variety like two-on-two matchups and skins play. That's something. Between matches, the deepening RPG side offers incremental skill upgrades. Some offer easier swing timing, others accuracy, or better work out of bunkers. Leveling requires tiered decision making as each club type is individually boosted and opportunities grow in tandem alongside the custom golfer's XP meter. In a reversal of HB Studios' usual philosophy, clubs themselves matter. Not just clubs, but every boost to them, which are acquired after winning events. A plus three club shaft of power matched with a plus two grip of shot shaping can form a credible weapon or piece of sporting equipment. 
Given PGA Tour 2K23's demanding swing precision, every tiny boost to accuracy or timing will reduce risks, and that's appreciated. It's a notable gamey idea for what is otherwise a deep simulation though, and purchasing actual clubs makes no difference. Only the part boosts do. Oh, he couldn't get that one to go, unfortunately. Moving toward the FedEx Cup means dealing with HB Studios' weak point, the dismal quality of its attempt to recreate the atmosphere of televised golf. It's not bad so much as utterly broken in places. Commentators make the wrong calls regularly, such as failing to identify when a ball is or isn't on the green, or whether it's trailing left or right. Attempts to show replays from earlier in the tournament take excessive times to load in this era of SSDs, and chug further when trying to reach the server sometimes. And when they do show up, they frequently don't actually show anything. Rather than following the ball, these snippets stay on the golfer reacting to an unseen shot, but at least the character models justify that lingering attention. Coming from 2K, whose emulation of NBA broadcasts set a best-in-class example, PGA Tour 2K23's non-functional delivery is more annoying than helpful. As a side note, the orchestral music playing over the menus painfully adds to the idea of golf being a dull, elitist game. There was room for PGA 2K23 to build energy while maintaining its status, but it doesn't take a single opportunity to do so. The recurring course creator lets people give PGA Tour 2K23 the spark if they so want it. That also helps fill in the course selection's holes. Someone will render an accurate Pebble Beach in no time, with titles like Pebbles on the Beach Golf Course. That said, trying to build something offers a pleasant, easy-to-use menu system flush with choices. Better, everything is open from the outset, meaning there's no need to unlock items to fill the spaces. Yes, a crocodile hiding out by Hole 9's green is just as much of an option as placing a hotel on 16. And if you're worried about the 2K label and its push for you to spend actual cash on virtual currency, that's thankfully not as intrusive as NBA 2K. Even though the in-game currency gains are absurdly small given the shop's prices, unless unlocking clothing matters to you, there's limited need to worry about it for now. Rewards are handed out frequently to keep leveling throughout the season, and since XP gains and club boosts are not for sale, everything is safely cosmetic. Even after a year off, PGA Tour 2K23 returns offering minimal progress from its preceding, prior generation edition. A new three-click swing is an unforgiving mess. It's somehow worse at emulating the look and feel of televised golf, and the few spurts of personality that's been layered on can't counter developer HB Studios penchant for preserving pro golf's elitism above all, or the apparent terror of breaking from that form. At least PGA Tour 2K23 can define itself through the properly challenging golf sim at its heart and the bare bones career mode that stands all but alone in its menus. All in all, just a tough hole to say the least. For more sports gaming, check out our reviews of NHL 23 and NBA 2K23. And for everything else, stick with IGN.